Speed Fusion Cloud is a service Peplink provides to all Peplink and Pepwave routers running firmware 8.1.0 and higher. Log into your router and click on the Speed Fusion Cloud tab. Select the button to get your activation key now. You'll be redirected to login to activate. This can be your Peplink account or a new one. For first time users, a free 30 day trial can be selected. This supports bandwidth speeds up to 50 megabytes per second and up to 100 gigabytes of data. You can also choose between one of the following plans. You're also going to be presented with a list of steps to follow to complete the activation. An email with an activation key will be sent at this time. Copy this key and paste it into the system feature add-on section. Click activate to complete this step. Now we'll go back to the Speed Fusion Cloud tab again. First, choose a cloud location or multiple locations for more redundancy. Because of latency, you'll want to select locations closest to yours. In our case, we're going to select Chicago and Dallas. Something new to Speed Fusion Cloud service is the ability to configure multiple tunnels within each Speed Fusion connection, something previously only available when using another Peplink router or a third party cloud service like Amazon Web Services. Simply click on the location here, and you'll see the settings window appear. For example, we're going to configure one subtunnel dedicated for our computer's connection. The settings will remain in default configuration since we want the connection to use bonding. We can confirm that under the one connection priority section. As you can see, all connections are set to one highest. In the next subtunnel, we'll configure settings for our VoIP. Since we want to ensure clear calls will enable WAN smoothing. There are different levels to choose from here. Normal will double the traffic over each connection, medium triples the traffic, high quadruples it, and so on. Also, because we don't need more bandwidth than one connection provides us, we can adjust the WAN connection priority. Setting each WAN in the same priority allows them to bond together. Having them each in a different priority will only be utilizing hot failover. Click Save and Apply Changes. We'll move on now to setting up client connections to prioritize the Speed Fusion Cloud connection. This page will show the same server locations we just selected. Click below Client and you will see a list of devices currently connected to your router. This can also be found under the Status Client List page. Select one client at a time, clicking the plus button after each client. Click Save and Apply Changes when you're done. You can also set up a custom Wi-Fi SSID that allows any connected Wi-Fi user to prioritize the cloud connection. This is much like the previous step, but does not require your devices to be connected at the time you set the configuration. It's also a quicker alternative if you don't need to include Ethernet LAN connections. Select a reference SSID, which is what the router will copy Wi-Fi configuration from, then enter a SSID name for the Wi-Fi cloud network. Lastly, a new feature of firmware 8.1.1, we can configure our most important applications to benefit from the cloud. Once again, we'll see our locations listed. Click below cloud application and you'll see a few common applications like Google Workspace and Zoom. These options are quite limited at this time, but Peplink is planning on adding more in the future. Click save and apply changes when done and that's it. Your Surf Sovo, as well as any other Peplink or Pepwave router, is bonding your connections and prioritizing your critical network traffic.